Yeah, what's good, people? So lately, I've been trying to move from producer mindset over to performance mindset and trying to develop and design my live performance setup. And I figured out that Ableton Live was probably the best way for me to do that. But I didn't want to lose the performance and the production values that I had built into my Reason template. So I figured out how to import my master song template from Reason into my live setup through Rewire. And it's pretty sick. I'll show you how it works. Now this is specifically for Mac users with a 64-bit system. Inside your Applications folder, find the Reason app icon. Right-click on it, Get Info, and this box is going to come up. Live only works in 32-bit mode, so Reason has to be opened in the same mode. And just check this box that says Open in 32-bit mode, and everything's going to work out just fine. But make sure you don't leave that checked if you want to open up Reason as just a production tool. So now that we have Live open here, and it's important that you open Live before you open Reason, once I do that, you see my master template comes up, but it's routed to say Rewire Slave Mode, which means it's being run by another program. In this case, it's being run by Live. So if I flip the rack around, I want to take my master input out of that audio section. And what I'm going to do is take the direct output of each of my submix chain and route them into the rewire inputs up here. So now all of my different submix categories from the template are routed through these six inputs in rewire and they'll each come out to that main VU meter if you select them. Now this is going to disable your mastering chain from the template, but you'll still have access to these send in effects as well as the mix channels and the spectrum analyzer up here is still going to work. So back in live, I want to create six audio tracks for the rewire channels we just routed in Reason. And I'm going to go ahead and label those for each of the channels. So drum stem and the rest. Next, I want to select input reason on all six channels. And you can see all of our rewire channels are available here. So I want to go through and select each one for the consecutive tracks. Next, I want to make sure the monitor is set to in on all the tracks. And now all of our audio is coming in from Reason into these mixer channels. So I can go through and record audio onto each of the banks in all these channels here. Or I can even use this MIDI channel to create my own new loops and then record those into all the sl performance slots above. But as you can see, this list of MIDI instruments inside a Reason is really long and kind of sloppy and hard to read. So we're going to fix that with a little bit of a workaround. Inside of Reason, I'm going to come into my template and I'm going to rename all of my mix channels and combinators so they stand out in that list. So I'm going to just call this Drum Mix. And now this one in all caps, I'm going to call it Drum Combinator. So it stands out from that mundane list. And now I'm going to go through the rest and label them the same. Okay, so now that that's all done, if we go back into live and open up that same MIDI output, we can see how these combinators really stand out amongst the rest of this list. So we can go down and find every important piece that we need to control with our MIDI and select them as needed. Now, if I want to create a new track, I'll probably just use one MIDI channel and then, you know, record out each different part and create loops that go into these mixer channels for each of the, dr each of the stems. And then when I want to create a new part, I'll go and select a different MIDI device in Reason from this drop-down menu. And then up here in each of the corresponding banks, I'll just record arm the track 
and then create my loop based on whatever my MIDI part is. Now we don't have anything in there right now, so nothing's going to record, but you get the idea. And I'll go and make all my different song parts in here, and then I'll have a new set to go live. But let's say you got a really powerful processor on your computer, and you want to do a more elaborate setup. You can actually create MIDI tracks to control every single one of the combinators separately inside of Reason. So let's do that by creating nine MIDI tracks all together. I'm going to go through and label those for each of the corresponding combinators inside my Reason template. So drums, bass, etc. And then I need to select Reason in the input of each of those channels. And I'm going to give them each their own unique MIDI channel, 1 through 9. So now here in each of these drop-down lists, I want to select the corresponding combinator that's inside of Reason. If I can find it anywhere. There's my bass combinator. And let's do that for the rest. And lastly, if we come back over into Reason, I want to drop down my advanced MIDI menu. And I'm going to select channel 1, drum combinator in, channel 2, bass combinator in, and do that for the rest. So they each have their own dedicated MIDI channel. Now one important thing to remember here is that when you're programming on your keyboard, you're going to have to figure out how to change the signal that's coming out of your MIDI so that when you record different parts, they correspond to these MIDI channels that you have pre-selected on each track. So now that that's all set up, the template should work. If we go into Preferences, let me find this setting so I can save it as a default. It's in here somewhere. Okay, it's right here. Save Current as default. If we do that, now this project is going to open up every time we start a new session. And if we then go into Reason, do the same thing, we open up that second, and now we're going to have our full setup running through both programs. I hope that helps you guys set up a new live performance set and maybe figure out a new way to do some production. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. It's just science.